Good day, my name is Ralph and I'm with Sonosys in Germany. Today I want to introduce our nebulizer series to you, US1 to US20, which is such kind of product and is able to nebulize uh, small water or liquid droplets into the air, which range from 1 liter per hour to 20 liter per hour and is excited by ultrasound from 45 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz. Uh, able to produce droplets in the size range of 20 microns to 38 microns. The way it works is um, that liquid goes through this nozzle and uh, this small platter here is excited by ultrasound which turns into mechanical oscillation and thereby the water droplets are dissolved into the air building an aerosol, a fine mist of droplets. By means of the flow you can um, uh, control uh, the spray angle and um, it is used in manifold applications such as in medical uh, the humidification of of air of breathing air um, as well as uh, distributing the disinfectants into the air also in uh, everywhere where you want to distribute uh, liquids uh, with a fine coating you can use this uh, nebulizer nozzle and today we want to introduce our small demo uh, showing the way it works and how to operate it now we got here our little demo system uh, and I will explain a little bit the components. First of all we have the generator uh, for generating the ultrasound and uh, we do have here a small demo tank where we um, included the nebulizer. So um, this small demo tank um, is essentially consisting of the nebulizer itself which is up here. And uh, here you can also see the plate I um, described earlier. And there's some water in this tank up here. And with a little uh, pump, the water is um, directly forwarded to the nebulizer and then uh, distributed by the nozzle as explained earlier. So um, what we will do is now um, turn on the generator. So I simply switch on the generator, which is simply that. And by that you can see that there's already uh, the acoustic sound field now active on the water surface. If I turn on now the water flow, then the nozzle immediately starts to uh, nebulize the water droplets in a fine mist. And depending on the volume flow, uh, it's getting wider or less wide. And um, the droplet size is uh, remaining the same but the angle of uh, how it comes out of the nozzle is differing by water flow. So uh, maybe I put off the top and you can see it a little bit better. So depending on how much flow I give, um, it's uh, a mist with a little bandwidth to up to a wider one. I will turn on the liquid flow now to max so that you can see that the spray angle varies and gets to a maximum so that uh, the droplets even get uh, to the glass. So that's max now and uh, you can see that the angle gets very wide. In terms of uh, the sequence uh, of switching on and off the generator and the water flow, um, I will show you how to do it best. Um, so now the system is running and I uh, go to turn off the water flow before I turn off the generator. Um, if you switch it on, it's just the other way around. That means you would start with the generator to make the nozzle run without liquid and then go on, on and uh, open the, the water flow. So this is the way you can operate it. Otherwise, it may happen that a drop is uh, sticking on the ultrasonic plate and it's not uh, running again. Um, I will try to demonstrate that as well. So if I just switch off now the generator with water flow, you can see now the water drops here. And if I try to switch it on right now, it won't work because there's too much water which cannot be distributed by the nozzle. That means in this um, case we really need to switch off, we need to cut the water flow and then switch it back on to make the ultrasonic work before the liquid comes in again 
and once I do this it simply works. So it's not difficult but you just need to take care of the sequence order. So this was our little demo. I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, thank you for watching and see you next time with the next Solosys video. Goodbye.